Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about human body systems and the way that they interact with each other. So let's start with the basics. Everybody's got cells. All living things have cells. It's part of being living. There's different types of cells, brain cells, fat cells, heart cells, red blood cells, nerves. Our bodies are made of these cells. They're the building block for everything. There are different types of cells that we're going to be talking about in your body. So here's some examples. As you go through cells, a group of cells together is going to be called a tissue. So you're seeing different human tissues here in different areas of the body. Um, you can see here another example how this nerves will come together to make the nervous tissue. The blood will come together to make their blood vessels, so on. After tissues, you get enough tissues together and they will make up an organ. So it goes cells, tissues, then we have organs. After your organs are your organ systems. So they will work together to create your entire body system. Here is the muscular system here. It works together to move your muscles. We're going to talk specifically about those in a moment. If we were to go microscopic, we would have said inside the cell is the nucleus and there is the chromosome which has the DNA, that DNA controls everything that creates the different tissues, organs, and systems. So the first system we're going to talk about is the cardiovascular or circulatory system. Like it sounds, it circulates the blood in your body. Cardiac actually means heart. That is our main organ that we are looking at here. And your blood vessels will work together to tra transport minerals, that you need and oxygen you need to your body. That's also how it will work with other systems. I need to figure out how to right click. There we go. So the respiratory system is one of the systems it work with. As I said, it gets oxygen to where you need. If you're an athlete and you're running, it will take oxygen to the parts of your body who need that need it, and it will expel out the CO2 that you do not need that your body will use up. The digestive system will also absorb nutrients through the blood and it will get to the rest of your body to get your energy to the cells through the digestive system, but it has to work with the circulatory system to get it across the body. It will also work with the excretory system. The blood will deliver waste to the kidneys, and that will help you to pee out any waste that you are not needing to get rid of things that your body doesn't need. The respiratory system, we already talked a little bit about that you will breathe in through your nose to get into your carbon dioxide and you breathe out the CO2. CO2. So we already know it works with the circulatory system, but its job is to get oxygen into your lungs to get your body functioning. So then the main organ of your respiratory system is your lungs. I already mentioned that it works with the circulatory system, so we're gonna keep going. You have a muscle. If you're in choir or band, you might have to strengthen that diaphragm, which is a muscle that works with the respiratory system. Your nervous system also controls your breathing. You don't have to think about your breathing. It's an automatic function that happens. You can think about your breathing. It's possible. Your brain can decide which one you're doing. Pretty neat system. So your digestive system includes your intestines, your esophagus. All of this is all a part of your digestive system. It will turn the food that you eat into nutrients. As we mentioned before, those nutrients can get to the body through your circulatory system. It will take those nutrients to get energy to the area of the bodies that need it. Your digestive also works with the muscular system. You can literally feel your stomach growl when you're hungry, which is controlled by your nervous system. It will tell you, hey, I'm hungry, and you'll feel that need to eat. You'll feel almost a pain in your stomach. That's your nervous system trying to maintain something called homeostasis. Your excretory system is, again, trying to get rid of that waste. We already mentioned some systems that it works with. Its main organ is the bladder. It will work with the respiratory system because once it gets that carbon dioxide, I think those are flipped. This should be on this side. This is the respiratory system. It goes on this side. This is the circulatory system. It goes on this side. Pretend those images in the right location. So this is our lungs. You can see how it removes carbon dioxide through the blood there. And then the circulatory system gets the waste out and excretes it. So imagine these two pictures are flipped. Now let's move on to the skeletal system. An adult has 206 bones. You may be wondering why I'm saying an adult. Children actually have more bones and they'll fuse over time. These bones make up our skeleton and they are connected with cartilage to things like our muscles. 
So the circulatory system will work with the bones. It will protect the organs. And here's a white blood cell trying to chase down a bacteria. Get that bacteria white blood cell. So in the blood, you've got those two different types of cells. This is it working with the muscles. Let's see if I can get it to play. There it goes. So the skeletal system, you can see it here. It's connected. The nervous system, bam, there it goes and tells you nervous says to move the muscles will move, the skeleton will move. Technically, the skeleton will move the muscles the, or the move muscles move the skeleton. Yeah, the muscles move the skeleton and that's how we move after the nervous system tells your muscles to do that. Pretty cool. Clicking to the next screen, there we go. Your muscles, speaking of which, your muscle, muscles are attached to your bones that will allow you to move. Your heart is also a cardiac muscle. It's one that you don't have to think about moving. That's another one of those involuntary ones that your brain is just maintaining without you even having to think about it. Your heart continues to pump. Let's see. The main organ is the muscles. As I just talked about the heart, that is made out of cardiac muscles. So that's why it's called the cardiovascular system or the circulatory system because it's got the heart. Your skeletal and nervous will allow movement as you saw in the last slide. Your muscular, we just talked about that diaphragm is the muscle that will allow you to breathe. Your digestive system, when you eat or drink something, it will move its way through your esophagus down to your stomach and then the circulatory system will take those nutrients to your body. All of these systems are interconnected. Your nervous system, well, that is your brain. Your brain, as I've mentioned multiple times, controls everything. It controls what you feel. It controls what you're happening without thinking about it. Like I said, your heart keeps pumping without you having to think, hey, heart, start pumping. You breathe without thinking about it. But your brain can switch that and change it to where, hey, all of a sudden I'm going to think about my breathing and take a nice deep breath to relax. So here's a brain with different areas being lit up and involuntary is that stuff you don't control all of these organs work without you even having to think about it your kidneys are working your liver is working all of these things are working involuntary meaning you don't have to think about it your voluntary control is when your brain will tell you to do something which will move the muscles that move the skeleton and cause movement throughout the body so you're seeing lots of interactions today the integumentary system it's integu, I know it looks like gum, but it's humanitary system. It's a fancy word for the skin. The skin will protect your body. It's a permeable membrane that can let substances in and out because it can like let things absorb into your skin. If you take a nice soak in a bath, you can actually get a little more water into your system that way. It will maintain homeostasis. And the main organ again here is the skin. This is what the layers of the skin look like with the hair, the fatty tissues, these are the nerves, all the parts that work together. So it works with a circulatory system. If you're hot or if you're cold, your skin surface will either release water to try and reduce your temperature through convection, or it's gonna try to hold that in to maintain your body heat inside your body. Your nervous system will feel through the skin. The nerves are all here on your skin. If a, if a nerve ever gets severed, you're gonna stop feeling in that area because the nerve has to be maintained in order to feel. That's how people end up paralyzed is if their bottom part of their spinal cord gets injured, you can't move your legs anymore. Those nerves in your spine are very important to keep you moving. The endocrine system, this one's huge and I would say probably the hardest for me to explain because it does everything. It maintains the homeostasis of your body. When, you, when I say the brain tells you you're hungry, it actually happens with a releasing of hormones. So all of these things in your body are regulated by hormones that come from the endocrine system. The endocrine system is going to try to maintain a balance for your body through releasing of hormones. So you can see everything that it works with. I'm not gonna read through here, feel free to pause, but your digestive system will tell you when you're hungry with the nervous system. The circulatory system and integumentary system will help to distribute hormones throughout the body. Then here it is, there's the big interactions of the human body system. I didn't go into the immune system. We did talk a little bit about white blood cells, but that is just basically trying to keep you healthy. Other one we didn't talk about was the reproductive system, but that's just basically the difference between boys and girls. We did talk about the endocrine system, which will affect some of the growth of boys and girls, but that's it. If you have any questions, please comment. Thank you.